everyone, Kaleido here and welcome back to another video here on my channel. So today I'm going to be showcasing five amazing hacks in Bloxburg that I recently found. And yes, this video is inspired by Ashley Unicorn's hack series that she has going on. So if you want to find out some more hacks that you can do in Bloxburg, go and check out her channel. I'll leave it down below for you guys. But these are some of the hacks that caught my eye and I just really wanted to to kind of talk about them, test them out in game, and just see how they go, if they really do work. What is a Bloxburg hack, you may ask? Well, since we can basically overlap different objects and change the material and color of just about every single item that there is in the game, we are able to mix and match items and merge them together to create new items, sort of. And that is exactly what people have been doing. The most famous one, I'm pretty sure, is the washing machine curved staircase. That one was super popular, I believe, but they recently added curved staircases. So that one is a retired hack, I would have to say. But before we continue, if you guys have any hacks of Bloxburg that you would like to share with me, make sure to tweet them at me, send me some photos. My Twitter is at Angeline Makes. But yeah, the very first Twitter that we are going to be seeing today is Tonka Sugar Bloxburg Hacks and Ideas. So these guys are pretty new, I believe. They only have 73 followers and they have some really, really awesome hacks, I do have to say. One of the ones which is in this list is the vending machine. Now I'm so intrigued at how this one's going to work out. Just look at it. Vending machine, why not? All you need is walls, a pitcher, and they have the code there, a small window frame, and a cooler. Make sure to color everything really black. So yeah, here we go. You put the cooler box there and that looks like the little chute where the food comes out of. Wow. Okay. That looks amazing. Am I right guys? That looks so good. I can't wait to try that one out. But before we do that, we're going to try out three that I've chosen from Tonka. If we scroll down a little bit, they have a few others which are really cool. But here's another one. Now I love things all garden related. I love plants and stuff. So this one really excites me. This is how to make a fruit tree. Just grab a rustic tree, a couple of small tables and some fruit, use small plot, also put a floor down to set up your tables on the second floor. Okay, so this one kind of confuses me, so I'm gonna have probably some difficulty testing that out. But yeah, look at how amazing that ends up looking. I can't even, like that looks so great. I feel like that one will be a little bit more of like testing the waters, trying to go back and forth and try to figure it out, you know? But yeah, it looks fantastic. That is a great result. <laughs> I love in this photo how they've circled all the fruit. Yes, I see the fruit. It looks so good. All right, so this one is even better than the previous ones, in my opinion, and I think when we color it, it could look really, really good. So ever wanted a Bloxburg pool table? You need a large dining table, two spray paints, two small tables, plain quarter fence, soap bar. This looks so good. Can you just like imagine when we get to recolor this to look amazing? It's gonna be great. All right, well, we are going to test out these three hacks from Tonka. I still have two more hacks to reveal to you guys, so make sure you keep watching. But yeah, let's head in game now and test out these three hacks. I think they're going to turn out really, really well. We have a fresh new plot here to build everything on. So I've just put down the walls and I think that looks pretty much good. And there it is, it looks so 
perfect. I really, really like that, especially with the painting. I think the painting makes it, it's just so, so good. This would be perfect for a shopping mall or something like that. I'm going to be giving this hack a 10 out of 10 because I think it's such a good one and it just worked out really seamlessly. Okay, moving on, we are going to try to do the fruit tree. And I think it's kind of funny because the fruit tree is a little mixed. It isn't just like an apple tree. It also has like grapes and stuff in it. So we have the floor and then I think we got to put down the little tables. They have about six, so there we go. We'll put down six. Oh my gosh, guys. So I didn't know this, but apparently it's not the fridge. You get all of the fruit that you need from the picnic blanket. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize. And then what do I do? I just like place... <gasps> Oh my gosh! Okay, it all makes sense now. Alrighty guys, so we have given up on the apple tree or the fruit tree, whatever you want to call it. Now I think it works really well and especially if you have more time to be more finicky and just really move around those tables and play around with it a lot. Like this grape here looks pretty darn good but then this banana here, it doesn't look that great. And same with that apple and um, this apple is actually pretty good as well but then these grapes have seen better days. So what do I give this hack? Probably a 7 out of 10, just because it isn't that easy, but it does make the trees look really, really nice. I definitely think that I'm going to try to perfect this one so then I can make my trees look a little bit more interesting. We are so in need of having a garden update in Bloxburg to the point where people are putting random fruit in their trees. So Coaptus, please! Put some new plants in this game. 7 out of 10 for this one. I think it turned out looking alright. Just, I don't have the time right now to really meticulously play around with each of those little tables. Alright, next up we have the pool table. I'm really excited to see how this one turns out. So I did try to add my own like little colorful balls underneath on tables and stuff. And even though I was able to get the table, the green table back on there, none of the items were able to show up through. And you can't change the color of the cans to be another color other than silver. So that is unfortunate, but maybe in the near future we'll be able to get like some bouncy balls or something like that for kids items. And then I think we'll be able to really execute this pool table hack properly. Anyways, I'm going to be giving this hack 9 out of 10 because I think it looks really really good and it could add so much more to your house especially if you're building a fancy mansion but yeah those are the three hacks that we got from Tonka now I have another one which is my own hack which I've been doing quite a lot recently in my speed builds so if you guys don't know I love to build in blocks bag and I've been making some videos creating different houses and stuff so make sure you go and check them out after you watch this video shameless plug right there but I do have my own little hack that I've been loving so 
so much using the new basement game pass that we have. So you of course have to make a basement. I'm actually going to show you guys two different kinds of this hack. Now I'm not sure if I'm the person who created this hack. I'm sure other people have done it before. So let's just go into build into garden. So that's if you want to make a really bushy kind of hedge, like it's very overgrown. Now, another one that I really like to do is a little hedge. Now it's not a perfect hedge, but it kind of works. So let's go down into the basement level. Okay, I'm gonna buy 5,000. I know that's like a terrible thing to do, but I'm supporting the game, I suppose. Okay, so we have that done now and let's go up and add the floor. So with the floor, I tend to go a little bit over the basement. I try to not do it too much and that way it's a little bit less visible. So I'm just going to do that and then we're going to try to color it the same. Okay, here is the grass and now we gotta match it. There we go. And as you can tell, that is pretty seamless. And you can actually walk over this. You won't fall down into the basement. And then we have a cute little hedge here. Of course, you can do this with any of the trees and you can place them a little bit neater than I have. But this is the fourth hack of this video. What do you guys think? This is one that I've created myself. Again, I think people have done this before. I'm sure they have, but this is a really clever way to use the new basements. And I think it looks so good. I'm going to give this one a nine out of 10. I know it's kind of bad to rate my own hack, but I really do like this one. Okay, and over here we are going to be doing the last hack of today's video, and that is aquariums. So I recently watched a video from the Panda Girl. She is this awesome YouTuber who makes a lot of fun Bloxburg videos. So go and check her out. I'll leave her link down below. But she recently did this video that blew me away, which was the secret aquarium tutorial. So I actually did my very own aquarium a long time ago on my Pink Bug channel when I made a pet shop. I made two little aquariums, but I really like what she did with the aquariums. As you guys can see on the screen here, She's using tables and benches or something overlapping each other and then those big pot plant reed looking things and they look so good. So yeah, let's get into it and see if we can recreate this gorgeous little secret aquarium. Alrighty guys, we are finally done with our secret aquarium hack and I think it looks really good. I did some things differently. I used some of the different plants because I really love aquascaping. They're some of my favorite videos here on YouTube when people decorate and stuff. So I kind of got creative, but I really like the little plants, the little pot plants, how you put it on a smaller table and you kind of merge it all. And we also put the window in a position that you can see a little bit of the table. So it looks like there is actually sand in there. We also have a aqua decor background. If you guys know about the aqua escaping world you would know what that means 
But yeah, I thought it would look kind of cool if it was like all rocks and stuff at the back. And we also tried to disguise that little floor that we had with the big pop plant with some rocks. But yeah, I really, really like this one. I tried to do a painting. It didn't really work because it doesn't fit on the one by one wall. But if you were building an aquarium, which is two blocks across, I think you would be able to make it work somewhat. But yeah, this is probably my favorite out of all of the hacks. And I'm so glad that I stumbled upon the Panda Girls video because I feel like my aquariums have now glowed up. They look so good now. I'm going to be giving this Bloxburg hack a 10 out of 10 because it is amazing. I actually ran out of money because of all of the trees in the basement, so I had to delete it all so then I could continue. So just pretend that that hack is still over there in the corner. But yeah, guys, let me know down below in the comment section which one of these hacks is your favorite. I would love to know. I think my favorite was the aquarium or maybe the vending machine. The vending machine is very cool. If you have any more Bloxburg hacks that you would like to let me know about, make sure to tweet them at me or send them to me on Instagram. My Twitter is at Angeline Makes and my new Instagram account for Roblox related content is Kaleido Online. So make sure you follow these two accounts and send me any of your hacks that you have in the future. But yeah guys, I'm going to leave it there. I hope you all enjoyed today's video. I definitely want to do more of these in the future. This was so much fun just like testing out these hacks and seeing how they actually work. I'll leave the links to Tonka and Dependagar down below and also Ashley Unicorn who I got this idea from. But anyways guys, that is the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you subscribe and click that bell for notifications so then you get notified when I I upload next. I love you all two bits and I'll see you all next time.